I wish that you liked me. Of course I love you. But do you like me? I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? Lady Bird is a film about acceptance. This is something I didn't fully understand watching it for the first time, but upon revisiting the film after my first year of college, I get what Greta Gerwig is trying to tell us. The film follows Christine McPherson, better known by her self-given name, Lady Bird, as she wanders through her senior year of high school in Sacramento. We watch Lady Bird clash with those closest to her as she tries to be everything she's not, whether it be posing as a rich suburbanite or wanting to attend college on the East Coast. While the film's central message is nothing new, what makes it so refreshing is how Gerwig writes acceptance. From the opening shot, we're presented with the emotional core of the film, the relationship between Lady Bird and her mother. Each face their own struggle. Lady Bird has to learn to accept herself, the place she grew up, the people she's friends with, and even her own name. The mother has to learn to accept her daughter, with all of her flaws, whether she accepts herself or not. Again, these aren't particularly new stories, we've seen these in other coming-of-age movies, but it's the method Gerwig uses at approaching them that makes the difference. The opening dialogue between the two summarizes their relationship, with Lady Bird expressing her discontentment with her humdrum life, and the mother telling her to be more appreciative. The only exciting thing about 2002 is that it's a palindrome. Okay, fine. Well, yours is the worst life of all, so you win. Oh, so now you're mad? No, it's because just you're I being ridiculous to to because music. you have a great life. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. This dynamic carries throughout most of the film, whether it be when they're thrift shopping for a new dress, or deciding which college Lady Bird should attend, or when they argue about folding clothes. Gerwig carefully picks which moments have Lady Bird appreciating her mother, and they're almost never face to face. Your mom is crazy. I'm scared of her. She's not crazy. She just, you know, she she has a big heart. She's very warm. I don't find your mother warm. You don't? No, well, no. She's warm, yeah, but she's also kind of scary. Well, you can't be scary and warm. I think you can. Your mom. Even with these small moments, Gerwig never lets these two characters be emotionally in sync, which gives the film its refreshing feel. There isn't some cliche, climactic scene where the two talk about how much they love each other or address their emotional relationship. I think this technique of portraying our characters out of sync is highlighted best by the kitchen scene. Please, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm ungrateful and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I wanted more. Just please talk to me. I know I'm, I'm so bad. I know I am. But please just talk to me, Mom. The composition says it all. Christine is fully facing her mother, calling out for approval and guidance, while her mother's back is facing the camera and she doesn't say a word. You can't even call this an argument, since only one person is speaking. If you take a look at the screenplay, Gerwig originally had the father in the background and the mother walking outside to pull weeds while Christine followed her, but in the film, Gerwig knows we just need the one shot of the two alone to convey the message. Portraying our two characters this way ultimately serves to underscore the film's message, that learning to accept ourselves and others is a process that begins and ends with just us. This method of writing our characters out of sync extends to their emotional climaxes, which happen independent of one another. For the mother, this happens at the airport, when she drives off without saying a proper goodbye to her daughter and regrets it, realizing how much she cares for her even with her flaws and her mistakes. You could argue that the emotional climax is when Lady Bird finds the letters that the mother wrote and didn't send, but I think this scene just has so much more emotional weight. Christine's emotional climax is the final scene of the film. She wakes up after being intoxicated and wanders around New York City, an entirely new environment to her, and ends up drifting towards a church, the one place that's familiar to her. Then she calls her mother. It's me, Christine. It's the name you gave me. It's a good one. Did you feel emotional the first time that you drove in Sacramento? I did, and all those bends I've known my whole life, and stores and 
the whole thing. In the original script, Gerwig writes that Christine realizes it turns out that her life is just beginning. This is the point of the film, and something you only understand once you've left home. You realize just how alone you are, and how much you're defined by where you come from, as it's the only thing you have. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing as it helps the channel grow, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.